How's it going everybody? It's Aparicio and today I'm going to be showing you how to apply noise reduction to your image in DaVinci Resolve the right way so we can maintain a nice clean image that's not plasticky or cakey because we know that's garbage. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, here's the image. Uh, we have our noise reduction node. You can add it after or before your CST node and if you're, you know, using color management then just go ahead and add it before you start making your corrections. And as you can see here, we are in the motion effects tab here. We have temporal noise reduction, spatial noise reduction, motion blur, which we're not going to pay attention to. It's not relevant. And then we have our blur tab opened on this side, which is going to come in handy later. So, so you have to remember, you're typically going to find noise in underexposed footage. Why? Well, because the camera tries to amplify weak signals from the sensor to brighten dark areas, thus boosting random variations, thus creating noise or grain. If we zoom into this image, we have some noise here. You press play, you can see it, it's going crazy. I don't like it, mainly because uh, of the RGB uh, aspect to it. It's very colorful, it's very distracting. So we're going to go ahead and start in temporal noise reduction. Temporal noise reduction smooths out noise by analyzing and averaging information from multiple frames over time, reducing grain or noise while preserving motion. And let's keep this in mind that the frame setting controls how many frames of your footage are analyzed to reduce noise. So low frames, uh, if we go here and click 2, keeps the motion sharp and avoids weird ghosting effects. The me a medium amount of frames, let's say three, is a good all-around choice. It works well for most types of content uh, without over smoothing or adding artifacts. And then the high frames are, it's gonna be ridiculous. Great for static shots like B-roll of your gear or desk where there isn't much movement. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna use three for this shot. A little bit of motion, nothing crazy. It's a safe spot. So right here, you're typically gonna wanna choose better, okay? Obviously, it uses more computing power, but it's better, and you'll be able to fix that. I'll show you later if it's too heavy on your system. Uh, motion range, we're going to put small. There's not a lot of motion here. Uh, let's just give DaVinci a heads up and put small. Okay, so Luma, Chroma, and they're linked, as you can see. You can unlink it if you want. So you got to remember, Luma represents the brightness or intensity of an image, typically, and Chroma rep uh, represents the color information in an image. So if we go ahead and put up our chroma, we can get rid of that kind of RGB aspect of our noise here, and we can kind of keep what's left, which, you know, is uh, mainly just grain. And then when we go to pick up the Luma, we can see it's kind of bringing that grain out of there. It's making our image blurry, more blurry. I wouldn't do too much of that. I would do a little bit. I put mine at 4.2, my chroma, I put up a little bit more. And then the motion typically helps with any uh, artifacts that were to come up while using this. I typically don't mess with motion. And then blending is blending it back to before we use this effect. So we're just kind of blending it back to our original image. I don't mess with it too much, but if you want, you can. Just a quick pause. I'm here to thank you for watching. Subscribe, comment. It'll help out the video. Let's get back to it. Now guys, get ready for spatial noise reduction. It's really aggressive, all right? I'm gonna say that right now. It's aggressive. I'm gonna reset this. Come back in. Spatial noise reduction. What does it do? Spatial noise reduction reduces noise within a single frame by smoothing out pixel variations, focusing on small, isolated noise while preserving details. It'll more easily soften the image though, okay? <sighs> which is, uh, which could be scary, all right? You don't wanna ruin your image. It'll be a sad day. I'm gonna go ahead and choose better. My radius, I'm gonna go ahead and put small. I mean, you're probably wondering what radius is. The radius setting controls how much of the surrounding pixels are analyzed and averaged to reduce noise. Essentially, it dictates how large of an area around each pixel is considered when smoothing out noise. Obviously, we put it large. It's gonna be super aggressive. I'm gonna keep it small. Bigger isn't always better. All right, so remember, chroma, you're dealing with more of color. Luminance, you're dealing with more of brightness. So as you can see, they are linked and we can't unlink them. The only way we can unlink them is if we come here to mode and go to enhanced. Now we can unlink them. So let's see what we can do with them linked first. I'm gonna put it up for the sake of the video and to show you how much this can ruin your image. Let's put it all the way up. And you can see our image is very plasticky. Looks like a wax figure, okay? And if we play it, 
Okay, I don't even want to look at it, guys. I'm putting it back down. And let's just put it up about a third of the way. And you can see it's, uh, you know, it does its thing. Uh, but what I would probably want to do is unlink them and use these each separately. I'm going to start with the chroma. Okay, I'm going to do the luma a little bit. That would probably be as far as I would go here. And then you would typically use a combination of both temporal and spatial. But I would typically start with... Um, temporal noise reduction and then if needed I'd go over to spatial and then what you can do is add a node here and say you needed to sharpen the image back up you can go right here and reduce this I usually do to about 48 only and bring some of the sharpness back into the image and your footage will have a very hard time playing what you can do is come up here to playback go to render cache and click smart and it's going to go ahead and cache this node this noise reduction node and it's red now you're going to wait till it turns blue and then your footage is going to be able to play smoothly there you go if you're still here at the end of the video you're a trooper thank you very much i'll see you guys in the next one happy new year